Hello and welcome to our video on how to repartition your hard drive. This is useful in case you have only one hard drive and you split it up so that you have the OS on one part and the data on the other one, but you get to the point where you need more space on one or the other. So, to do this, the easiest way to do it on Windows would be to download uh, partition software and there are several free ones that you can try. Magic and this one I've used. I've used this one, and uh, I think they're both fine. They're both easy to use. Both are done on Windows. Probably use this one. Right, let's just do the download here. Uh, we want the free edition. download I don't have used this one before I like this one too like I said with this you can do pretty much anything you want And this is the part of what we want to do. We want to basically resize them with the partitions or merge, merge them, split them, whatever we want. If you wanted to do some of these extra things, you might need to look for another one. I'm not sure what this one does, but we can take a look at it. Let's finish downloading. Okay, Maybe here we can see what the key features are. And this one does give you something that the other one did not, which is Merge OS to install its state drive. Very useful if you ever change your hard drive. Uh, usually the slowest component on computer these days are the hard drives. And uh, the way to make sure of that is you go to Task Manager. So with the Task Manager, you can find out exactly what is causing the slowdown on your machine. For example, if you are performing something and you see that your computer is not responding, you can take a look at these and see if it's CPU, memory, or disk. Usually those three are the main ones and of course if you if your problem is disk you can change the disk to a solid state drive if it's memory you can upgrade your memory and if it's CPU well you could upgrade the CPU but for that you most likely would need to change your motherboard but hopefully it's one of these two which are easily changed okay so going back to the partition software Install the software and repartition or drive. You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, I want to launch the pool. Okay, here's our little tool. And now we want to do this the partition wizard. And this is how our drives look like on this computer. And what I want to do is basically resize this one to give more space to this one. So we are going to resize it. And I'm just going to pull this down a little bit to where I think should be fine. 
Let me give it about 200 meg gigs, sorry. Which would give me the difference to this one once I'm done. I'm going to do OK on this. Now I want to touch this, take the extra space, and then click OK. And this is how it's going to look like now. I'm going to have 196, which still gives me a lot of free space, but also gives me on D a lot more space, which is what I want. After you've done the changes you want, you need to apply it. And yes, and it's going to want to restart the computer. Once it restarts, it's going to go into the mode where it actually makes the operation, just like it says. The partition wizard will finish the rest of the pending jobs, and you will basically have a black screen. Uh, that's usually what they do. They go into like a... a a pre-boot mode where it does all the changes to the drive and then boots windows the drive should be like it says here where the c drive will be now 196 and the d drive will now be 1278 Okay, after the computer rebooted, I just opened up my computer and as you can see here, the new drive sizes are different. Now I have Y97 gigs on the C drive and 277 on the D drive. That is it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and please remember to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.